YouTube. This is DMV Butterfly. I'm about to make a raspberry, I'm sorry, a white chocolate raspberry protein shake. Yes, a white chocolate raspberry protein shake. I'll tell you what I have. What's in the blender is whole milk. I still had some left and I didn't want to waste it. The whole milk is 150 calories. I can't focus very well for a cup. And that's how much I use. One cup, eight ounces. Of course, the almond milk is only 60 calories for the same one cup serving. 60 calories for eight ounces. However, I don't like to waste things. So, I'm using the regular whole milk. I had my babies here. They drink whole milk. So, that's what I used. Um, so, that's it. Um, my nephew is gone now, but... That's what I had. I'm also, so in here is one cup of whole milk. And then a serving of whey protein is uh, two scoops. However, I when I make my protein sh um, shakes, I only make, or protein smoothies, I only use one scoop. One scoop has about four tablespoons in it. For this, I'm only using a half a scoop. So I measured out two, again, this is one cup of whole milk. You can use almond milk, skim milk, or you can use water. So one cup of milk, two tablespoons of whey protein, and then I did say a white chocolate raspberry smoothie. So this is Jello, and it's white chocolate flavored. Is sugar free and fat free in this container there are four servings of it dry and I measured it out to play with it one serving is one tablespoon it's only 25 calories zero fat and for those of you I don't um, watch my carbs is six carbs so then to this I'm going to add I already mixed that up so the protein powder can um, you know get blended in so again one cup of milk two cups of whey protein one I'm sorry two tablespoons of whey protein and then one tablespoon of this white chocolate and we're going to add one cup of frozen these are frozen raspberries now I'm going to tell you the slip up that I made do you see this sugar added so, didn't mean to do that, but it's really not a big deal for me because I've worked out, oh my gosh, close to three hours today. So, I am not going to stress because I bought some with sugar in them. This is 12 ounces, so it's about, a cup is um, about eight ounces. So, I used about half of the bag. So, anyway, it is what it is. Always look for ones that say no sugar added. So I'm going to blend this. Okay, now when you make regular jello pudding, if I was to make this into a pudding, I would add two cups of milk to this um, entire product to make it. Now I'm only using one fourth of the product, but I have a whole cup of milk. So that's going to give it a nice, I've never made this before, so it's going to give it a nice consistency. It's almost like a milkshake, as you guys can see. I'm going to taste it and see what I'm working with. I got the idea for this on my own because I love the Cheesecake Factory's white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. So, I decided to try something healthy in a white chocolate. So, let's see. Mmm. I'm tasting it. It tastes great. I'm not sure how it would taste if I had using 
if I had used, I'm sorry, I can't talk. If I had used um, raspberries without sugar in it, but this here is delicious. And it does taste like it has white chocolate in it. Now, I wouldn't go overboard for me. Not right now. You could all, um, you could get some white chocolate chips and stick a couple of them in there. I'm not going to do that. It tastes great just like it is. So this is another idea for a smoothie. Um, white chocolate raspberry. Delicious. And you can look on my Fitness Pal page um, for the calories. I believe it's maybe 300 about 312 or something like that um if you want the specifics for um the amount of fat all of that stuff i'll try to come back later and post it beneath the video in the in the description but that may not get posted until tomorrow which would be sunday the 10th okay have a great day